like Martha's Vineyard that have dates from the 1800s carved into their shell that are still alive or that were recently still alive. Um, yeah, uh, they are just unbelievable. One of the amazing things about turtles is that their organs technically don't age and it takes disease or some other uh, outside force to really kill them. Um, and these guys are just uh, one of the more unique turtles that we have. Does anybody know why they're called a box turtle? Yeah. Well, this picture, they, these ones, they won't demonstrate because they're just too used to people, but they close up like this. this. You can see they have this line going across the plastron, and it's a hinge in their shell. And they need to do this. Anybody, why do you think they need to do this? Why would a turtle that doesn't live in the water need to be able to close up its shell? Yeah, exactly. In the winter, right when they're brew mating and they're sound asleep, all kinds of little things like lovely raccoons will love to dig them up and nibble on them. And so they need to be able to close their entire body up inside this shell. These particular turtles really imprint on home. They're homing animals, which means you cannot relocate them ever. So if you ever hear anybody say, I rescued a box turtle off the road today, took it home and let it go in my woods, they might as well have signed a death warrant for that turtle because the turtle will not recognize that place and if it's an adult it's just going to go into epic wandering mode and try to find home and sometimes go back across roads or starve itself and all kinds of things. Not always there have been definitely documented cases where they adapted to new places but that is um, what the scientific belief is mostly about them. One of the distinct characteristics not just on these guys but lots of turtles is the male has a concave plastron and the female has a very flat, smooth plastron. Can you guys see that? That his, his plastron is kind of dished in a little bit, like somebody pushed it in. The males have a much bigger, thicker, longer tail, and the female has a small tail. In boxies, they also have this one additional characteristic, and that usually the males have red eyes, and the females usually just yellow or brown eyes, um, mostly brown.